Paul went to the city to reprovision fresh vegetables and fruit. And lo and behold, he brings back a durian fruit, uh, fruit durian. And they're predominantly in Southeast Asia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Thailand. Very, very beloved fruit for the people who love it. But unfortunately for most Westerners, it has a very strong um, smell that many Western Westerners cannot um, overcome. But it's very creamy and delicious. I'm not really big into durian, but I grew up with it. So I'm used to it. I can stand the smell. A trick to eating it, I think, is don't use your um, olfactory. Don't smell. What you have to do is like when you're in college and you started taking shots, just don't smell the drink. You just down it and just use your mouth. So Paul's going to open this and he's going to, he doesn't love this, but he's willing to give it a try. So let's open it. Incredibly sharp spikes. Yes. It's ridiculous. I'm no expert because this is the first time I've opened one of these. Quite a tough um, get smart. That's better. So describe to us the smell. Um, I don't know, have you ever had, uh, opened up your compost bin and had rotting vegetables in there? So I guess Westerners do, a lot of them or most of them, feel it's like a rotting smell. So, okay. So you see these creamy pods with seeds because we cut the seeds in the middle so I'm just gonna spoon it out you can buy durian in many um, so look at each pod looks like this I like to eat it super cold so I'm just gonna put it in the freezer but I'm just gonna it's a very pungent smell um, can you give me the other side and you don't eat the outside, this hard part. Oh, I just wanted to show the camera. I hope the camera can pick up <clears throat> the soft, softness of that. Creamy. The, the flesh. Yes. The, um, that is a. So I made Paul um, a durian banana milkshake y yesterday. And how did you find that? Because um, it was masked under banana, it was okay, but the smell was still there. It's got this uh, ridiculous pungent smell. Like I said, don't use your smell sense. Oh, okay. Not much of it. No, no you There's can, more, yeah. yeah. So Paul's going to cut it. You want to finish it all out? I did. Oh, I was going to say, do the tasting and then you can do that. Uh-huh. No, so, okay. So for me, it's just a creamy durian taste. And I don't really like fruit that much, so it's okay. Paul, on the other hand. Uh, I was gonna eat the other bit, but. And don't eat the seed in the middle. Don't, don't smell it. That's why I said, don't smell it. Don't. Just don't smell it, just use your taste buds. Appreciate the creaminess of it. Yeah, it's a creamy fruit, like a, um, a, a an off-bruised apple goes. Keep... It's, oh, come on. A little bit more. Just try to taste... Personally, I, I do not enjoy this. I'm open to trying new things, and that's what I'm doing. Paul's the one that bought this. I would never have bought durian myself. Mm. And we have to open this one because it's a very strong smell. 
to be on the boat. So um, can you cut that in half and I'll get the rest out? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. Sorry. So I'm left to eat all this durian by myself. And even last night, I had a little plate because Paul bought it, would not eat more. I might be developing a taste for durian. And I can compare durian to anchovies. You either love it or you hate it with a passion. Yep, I love anchovies. I can eat them out of the, out of the oil, straight. Okay. A little bit more, maybe. No, I'm gonna freeze it. I can do it in shapes. No, I, I mean think. I've cut a little bit more. Oh, see. There. So there's three sections of pods, all with three in it. Oh, I don't know because we cut it in the odd way. So I don't know how many sides of pods. And... So. I'm gonna dig all this out. You can make durian shakes, durian milkshakes, just eat it off by itself. But it might be best cold, refrigerated. So I'm gonna put this in the freezer. But remember, the smell is very pungent, strong, it gets everywhere. Put it in a well-sealed container. We snuck this in at work one day, eating it, because Vietnamese people love eating durian. And then one of the other coworkers, non-Vietnamese, go, oh no, there's a gas leak in the, um, in the building. But we knew it was the durian smell. So we faked it and we got rid of all evidence. So it's just, a lot of people think it smells so gross. But if I smelled durian, I would know it was durian. So thank you for watching. It's sure it's creamy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another hobo trick is we're using a lot of fresh limes. They're very cheap here. So instead of just throwing away, when I squeeze it, I use it to just ripe the countertops because Paul catches a lot of fish and it smells fishy. And you know, a tip is the only way you can get rid of it. This fishy smell is vinegar, lemon, or lime or even any citrus, orange. I've tried that, it works. So I just rub it on countertops or fingers. So another hobo trick to recycle your limes before you throw it out. I'm beginning to acquire a liking for durian fruit. I put it in the freezer so it's extra cold. So now that Paul bought it and he's making me eat all of it, I'm actually acquiring a craving for it. So I woke up from my nap and I'm going to have some durian fruit. Mm, creamy. Hmm. Yummy.
Another hobo trick with the tea bag is after you make two teas, I squeeze it out a little bit. Paul likes to um, use smoke for his tea. Then I clean my face. And it's nice when it's nice and hot. But even when it's cool, I clean my face or the countertop or the sink, my neck, my armpits. So it's a nice cooling or heat. Not a lot, because then it breaks. So you have like a few swipes. And the tea smells nice. I don't know if there's any um, good properties in a used tea bag, but another recycle hobo trick. Thank you. the last of my durian fruit I won't have any more but I've acquired a taste for it now I put it in the freezer mmm so creamy I'm definitely gonna have Paul go buy more mm. my durian pod this is our anchorage for tonight look at the clear water it's like a swimming pool let me in our dive gear we're a mess messy the sun just went down ooh swimming pool quality and look at that little outcrop we'll probably take the tender dinghy or the kayak around tomorrow morning and that's the open ocean pretty if you like Gypsy Christine channel, please click subscribe. I'll show you more fun, crazy adventure travel videos. And thank you for watching.